Hey guys, it's fall 2023 and today I will be BFS fishing Putting Stone Reservoir. I'm here at the lake guys, Putting Stone Reservoir. Let me show you guys how I launched my kayak in case you were curious. All right guys, so my trick is um, if you have a kayak bed extender or if you have a bed extender on your truck, literally get this shit as close as you can to the water and just slide it in as so. I wish I had a trailer, but this will have to do for now. Easy. Easy. And that's how it's done, guys. a fish. Got him. Got him. Got to keep the pressure on this guy. Watch. Short bass, nine inches probably. On the shaky head. Nice guy, nice guy. Have a good one, bro. I see my line moving. I'm gonna set the hook on this guy. Should have set the hook. Oh, got him! Oh, fuck, he's right there. He was on. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on. He's gonna jump again. He's gonna jump. Maybe a solid fish. Got him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Solid fish. Yes, I was grinding for this one, guys. I've been grinding all day for this one. Nothing too crazy. About a 15 inch fish. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Let me see your little bass dance. Oh, no bass dance. All right, man. See ya.
Lots of fish. See my line moving. I'm gonna set the hook on this guy. Got him. <laughs> Short bass, but that was fucking sick. <laughs> bass tank worthy, guys. All right, man. Have a good one. Get bigger for me, please. All right, guys. So the wind's kind of picking up. I tied on a 1 8 sounds uh, Chatterbait Micro by Z Man. <laughs> Cast to catch, dude, on the micro chatter bait. Yeah, so I saw the wind's starting to pick up, so I want to switch to a moving bait. I literally snagged over there, but then this fish just got it out of nowhere, so that was fucking sick. Alright, man. Thanks for letting me catch you. Alright guys, that's it for me. I do believe I hit limits of five fish, but uh, a lot of them were dinks. Besides that one nice sweet 15 incher I got. But um, putting stone is definitely a hard lake to fish. And uh, if I could leave with some advice, um, don't be afraid to fish where other people have fished. I mean like, if you see a boat running the bank and they leave, just wait 10 minutes and try it out. There's something finessey, something that the fish probably weren't getting from the other dudes. Because a lot of my catches were covering other people's trails. But Well then, I'm going to head home before my girlfriend gets mad at me. It's like 2pm. She's going to be pissed. Alright guys, see ya.